So I bought the M4 Pro MacBook Pro right in the middle of the M5 hype cycle where we're all waiting for the next Pro lineup next year. I did a ton of research to answer this one question. Will I regret buying the M4 Pro? In this video, I'm gonna show you the four things that convinced me to go for it. This is the last MacBook that I bought in 2015. That is 10 years ago. It's very old Intel before the M1 even existed. And it was amazing until it conked out a few years ago. And I've decided that it is time for an upgrade. And so I had to ask myself the question, do I buy the M4 series that are available right now today? Or should I wait for the M5 that's only 12 months away? I've already waited a decade. What's another 12 months? Well, the first thing you have to consider is the engine. Is the M4 Pro gonna be blown out the water by the M5? Well, I'm lucky enough to be in the fortunate position that I already had an M4 in my life. I had the iPad Pro M4, and I've been using this thing to edit every single video that I had on the channel. And so editing on my iPad was never really a problem until this channel started to grow. And I'm really subscribe if you want to join this growing channel. But I knew that the M4 series was already incredibly powerful. And I could only just imagine how much better that would be in a form factor and a chassis that allowed it for cooling, for fan systems, and just better, more powerful operating systems around it. But there was still that lingering doubt that could the M5 do something unexpected, something that I knew I shouldn't be buying a Mac for, but I just couldn't help myself think about the tantalizing opportunity of gaming on it. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. Should you be buying a Mac for gaming? No, but could you? Yes. And I've been watching Apple's recent updates, looking at how they've been handling the likes of Cyberpunk with the new Metal FX scaling more AAA releases on the platform. I mean, it's starting to look like Apple are taking gaming seriously, and I can only dream about what this could mean with an M5 Pro, let alone an M4 Pro. But then I asked myself this question, did they not just show that last year? And would I not have been convinced last year at the M4 if I had the option of an M3? Probably. And so am I gonna be thinking about the same thing next time? And I'm always gonna to come to the same conclusion that as somebody that owns an Xbox, that has uh, an ROG ally, that should probably invest in a gaming PC. So I feel like if you're hanging out for Can It Game, which you can, you can, and we'll do a other video on that if you like, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you it, gaming and performance on various games. I think, yeah, don't. It, and, and having gamed on it, it's, again, fine, but I just, yeah, it's not something you should be basing a Mac decision on. Don't do that. And before I tell you the thing that changed my whole perspective on this entire tech landscape, the, the third thing is just something we need to consider, the safety nets that are around you. And in looking at all of these videos about M5s versus M4s and should you be waiting and should you be doing this for, to wait for 2027, I realized that some of my favorite creators Marquez Brownlee, for example, huge inspiration to this channel. He's still rocking an M1 Max, like years and years later. So that should mean, by definition, that this M4 Pro, I should still be using this in five years time and it should still be crushing the things I need to do. They are still editing 4K video on huge timelines, incredibly complex work and getting it done with minutes lower in speed for rendering. I mean, who, honestly, who cares the difference between five minutes rendering a whole video to seven minutes? Make yourself a cup of tea, honestly. I did, and I love my cup of tea. And this brings me to the final thing, point four. The thing that made me press buy right now, it wasn't just the sale price, that helped. 300 bucks, Australian dollars, not bad. There is always going to be a reason to wait. That is the consumer market that we're in. But if I think about how powerful the current generation of chips are, if I think about what I really need this for, it's not gaming. And if I think about who else out there that I respect are still rocking very old machines as their daily drivers, I shouldn't need to consume more. I shouldn't need 
to just wait and upgrade because if I'm waiting for the next year one, well, apparently there's gonna be an OLED screen in the one after, and that might even be an entire window glass experience, wow. In this market, the MacBooks have so much value. When you think about one of the few consumer items that doesn't seem to have redundancy built into it, in which after 12 months it becomes useless. Like think about your iPhones. They just seem to just break after their two year life cycle. These MacBooks are lasting a very long time. They're actually representing pretty significant value over its lifetime. And that is something that I needed to reward and say, this is good enough for what I need for a very long time, if anything, beyond what I need. And we need to question tech. We need to question this annual cycle of developments. It never used to be like this. Things should last. And I think the MacBook Pros are one of the few safe bets that it will last beyond its year life cycle. And the next one isn't gonna be that much better so if you're me and if I'm you and you have the money and you think about wanting to buy something, a brand new MacBook, you can buy this generations with absolute confidence that it's gonna be what you need. Next year's will be slightly better at cooling, a slightly better battery life. And just to prove the current M4 series is powerful enough on its own already, Think about watching one of these videos on my iPad where I show you how I use it for everything. In fact, I used it as my laptop instead of this Mac. I've used an iPad for five years as my laptop. So check out some of those videos of how I do it. And thank you for watching.